Chumba, you know this is the bandit. Season number two, episode number three, Masquerade of Prayer. If you missed the previous episode, definitely check it in the link below. Welcome back to the Chang Bucket. Bob! Yeah, boy! So we back, you know I always want to thank my 1% young support as usual Big up yourself, sugar! So yeah, add the chum bucket That's when we get into a selected song of mine When we get into the more information about it How the song came along itself Also we have our insight, Bandicoot I wonder what that gonna be today And we also have a preview of the song coming up very soon So we're gonna kick it off Straight into the questions, wasting no time. Masquerade of prayer, chung bucket. Boom! We have masquerade of prayer. Yeah, and as previous episode, we structured a couple of questions, and by the end of those questions, we'll get to know a lot more about the song. Right? Boom. So, question number one: What year was the song released? The song was released in 2015. Yes, in 2015. Question number two: Was it a single or was it an album? It was an album, definitely. Ricky T, Cupid, Brandon, Suji. Well, the name of, of my head. The name of the beat is Insomnia Rhythm, so you could definitely check that out. Question number three Who wrote the song? <laughs> yep, it was me, yeah, this guy. Sugar! Movie still along. Question number four Who produced the beat? Well, the beat was produced by Stratosphere Music. Well, to be honest, the whole project it, on the whole was produced by Stratosphere Music. So yeah, big up the Dutch one himself. Big up yourself, sugar! Question number five. How did the song come along and the ideas behind it? It was actually the beat. And from the beat, well, I had to come up with something. Now, with Masquerade of Prayer, Masquerade of Prayer was one of those songs where it's like I would say a, a new field for me because of the difference in how I wanted to approach that rhythm and the vibes it gave out. Right, so it came along like just with the niche of all that in my head, like trying to get something out different. And if you know the bandit, we always want to say what we have. So big up your son! <laughs> Sugar! Yes, yeah, so that is it. So, the ideas was just trying to put me mentally in a carnival environment, you know, and um, yeah, just trying to just live up that experience with those kind of stuff in mind. So, so question number on a scale of one to ten, how much do I rate this song and why? Okay, <laughs> I give Masquerade a prayer. Two thousand years later. Definitely give us the right of prayer eight fun for Yes, I do. I really I really do that. And by the way, as I always say, how I read this song is definitely from my perspective. And why do I like Masquerade of Prayer? Well the reason why and because of that eight point five to be honest. The challenge like it was something new. That's the first time I ever did a groovy soca like that. You understand? So up to now I love that song. So that's to show you. And the time I took to put it in and try and get because I wanted to do my best. So that's why I like Masquerade Prayer to be honest with all that. So yep. So that was it for the questions. We're going to head straight into the preview. Boom! Father, this is the masquerade in prayer. All masqueraders step forward. Oh God, I feel like I can do this all night. I am a masquerader, a true masquerader. I feel like I can go till daylight. I am a masquerader, a true masquerader. When I 
straight into the inside. So what's Bandicoot's gonna be today? Let's let's look at discrimination today. Discrimination of a human being. Yeah, I think let's take that direction. Today. So but the thing is, some people think like they could buy blessings, right? When there's no value to blessings, there's no value on top of that. No money gonna buy no kind of blessings. People feel they can discriminate somebody else while in the same area with them or right next to them when yet still you breathe in the same air, the exact same air that they breathe in. And then despite all that, you want to feel like you're more than that person. So that's how crazy it is. If they go to church, I'm not, not saying nothing on nobody, that none of my Christians, I say nothing. I'm just say, right? Majority of people would think that when you go to church, and then you give, as the, the pastor would say, you give and you receive. So the more money you give, you see, there's more blessings you give. In. So some people going to want to buy blessings, how would you like that? So you can give all that money in the church because you say you give and receive. So you say you give hundred dollars, you get it more. And then trying to buy your blessings, right? Well, let me flip this trip where sometimes that little person that need that little help, I don't say everybody you have to do everything for everybody you see and I just say But when that thing hit you and then you seen you could help that person you did not And it's like for you that's, that has nothing to do with you when at the time you, you actually could have done something and do it better To actually help that person but yet still you choose like no no like so where the blessings in that that's, that's the kind of blessings we're talking about Where the value, where the good value on some stuff or something Whoa! <laughs> it's, a, it's a bandicoot. That's the inside for today. It's like we had a whole conversation there already. That was not a bandicoot alone. But sugar! I just want to thank my 1% gang support for sticking with me all the time. Big up yourself! You don't know your lunch. So stick with it for Chang Bucket. Until next time, we out!